We came home and we're in that phase of shock of having a, a diagnosis of, of, of stage four cancer. And the GP mentioned to get hospice involved. We thought, oh goodness, we're not, we're not at end of life yet as far as we know. But no, what was uh, explained was that it's really good to get in touch with hospice and be introduced to them before you feel like you need to. So that really challenged our, our perception of what hospice could offer. There is support for that period of you know, the life that you have left before you get to end of life. This is it. something that happens to all of us at some point, but perhaps we don't talk about it like we should. Hospice doesn't have to be like I probably thought it's a place where you go to pass on. It was going to be for me a support situation. If the worst happens, they'll also be there to do caring as well. Might get a setback and to have them there will be a, a safety net, I guess, and something that I can call on. So many different facets to hospice that I think people don't know about, from giving mum support as a carer, to my dad having his, his life biography written, which has been hugely beneficial, to getting involved in awesome fundraising activities for hospice. I sort of picture it as this sort of ripple effect of dad's at the centre, mum is looking after him, my sister and I are looking after my mum, our husbands look after us, and then we've got hospice sort of in parallel walking alongside us and giving us that support. We've had so much um, love and support from hospice dads more than his disease and so that's where hospice have really added value in terms of seeing him as a person who has had this amazing life with family and friends and all the different aspects of a person's life.